So have you ever had to eat your words? And I will challenge, and I will challenge Coda. And I will challenge Coda Bell. What? And I will challenge Coda Bell. Listen to my words. I'm challenging Coda Bell to do a backpack. Game on, Coda Bell. Game on. At this point, we pretty much all seen three way backpacks. But I guarantee you haven't seen the Coda Bell X case. This bag right here, super awesome bag right here. Really enjoy it. Now, I gotta tell you one thing about Coda Bell stuff, and I've seen this throughout. It can be a little intimidating because this, the bags do so much. You're like, man, that bag does this, it turns here, it's got this and that. Yeah, it can, and I and I suffer from from it myself because when I got the bag, I was like, "Man, this thing is complicated." But after using it, I gotta tell you, it's an awesome bag. Just like a lot of their stuff. Listen, this is how my reviews work. I'm gonna give you some of the specs, just a little bit of the specs. Then I'm gonna talk about some of the cooler sections on the bag. There's a lot of cool sections on this damn bag. And then we'll go all the way around the bag and I'll wrap the whole thing up and give you my final thoughts. Now, the coolest thing on this bag, we are gonna jump right in, we ain't wasting no time, is the main section. Damn it, there's two main sections on here. Let me go ahead and take you there, right? So it's up here at the top. So. You can see at the top, this is if you want to carry it briefcase style. Pop this open and you unzip. I'm getting right into this bag. You unzip and then boom. There's your briefcase style. What we got inside is a whole lot of pockets. The story of this bag is organization plus organization on top of organization. <laughs> Let me try to center this thing. So uh, right here, you got your place for your 17 inch laptop. That is a 17 inch laptop that I have in there. That's the older Dell Inspiron, big, fat, old, heavy ass laptop. So any of your newer laptops, you guys that got the new stuff out there, yeah, you're good. So this thing is suspended off the bottom. It's a nice, nicely cushioned in the inside of it. Let me pull this out. So it's nicely cushioned on the inside here uh, with some like fleece, fleece in there. Nice, like I said, suspended. You have these little nipple clips um, that hold the bag. It's like a nipple clip on a, some Hypalon material right here. And that's what actually holds the laptop in. So very, very nice, like it. So I'm going, to, I'm going right in. <laughs> I'm not playing no games. We'll talk about, you know, everything else at a later time, but I want to show you how, how awesome this bag is. I'm going to turn it around so you can kind of see. There's a wall of pockets on this side right here. So you got places in this. Let, let me start on the lid in the inside here. Okay, so we'll go, we'll go down, okay? So there's two pockets right here. Mesh pockets, YKK zippers with Hypalon pools. So this is what, like, if you need organ, you don't really need organizational packs, little packs in this. This pack has enough little spots for everything that you'll probably need. So what I usually carry in my re recycle firefighter trucky, my little pouch is all in here. My dude wipes, uh, chapstick, all of that stuff can fit in here. Perel can fit in there. So it's right on the top. So if I open it, boom, it's right here for me to get inside. So then on the other side, I have all my cords and I got these little night eyes bun um, ties. These are super helpful just to get my cords. So these are quick access things. I need to charge my phone. Boom, I go right here and get in. Now, moving down, <laughs> moving down, more pockets. All right, so you got a pocket right here on this side. This pocket is deep. So when I say it's deep, this whole notebook can fit inside of that pocket and it's about the same width. So probably about six or seven inches in width and it's almost made specifically for that notebook. I like it. Same YKK zips, they're a little smaller. I mean, I don't mind the smaller YKK zips on the interior of a bag. And then you have a smaller zipper pocket under that where I put a little charging block, man. All right, so keeping on moving down. So 
you got two pockets right here. These, these pockets with the tabs, Velcro and inside. These pockets down here are actually um, padded. Now, I don't have anything in this one right here, but in the other one, I put my mouse. Mouse right there, so that's awesome. On the other side, we're going over here now. So right up here, you have, this is for your SD cards. So Coda Bell built in this, you know, hey, you know, a lot of people carry SD cards if you're, you know, using photography or whatever, just moving documents. So this whole row up here is Velcro here is this for SD cards. Now, one thing I will say about the interior fabric in this bag a little bit, I wish it was just a little bit higher of a quality. I gotta be honest about that. That that interior uh, material, I don't know what the weight is on it. I, I probably couldn't, I didn't find out, but it just doesn't feel like super thick. That I love the high vis color. The orange is great. I just wish the, the the interior material was just maybe one step above what it is. So then you move down. You got two pin slot horizontal. So I have a sharpie in here, and then below that I have a G2 Pilot pen. If you guys can see that, right? So then under under that you have two pockets right here where I put in. This is the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 3, right? Or Para 3. So that's the all black version, blacked out. Nothing special, S S30V um, blade steel. And then I have my Olight i5 EOS. So that goes on that side. So <laughs> down in the middle, you got space for what you want to put in there. So I got my sunglasses, my cheapo Lumatech sunglasses, and these are the um, Sony XM3s right here. So you have space for maybe your books and all that stuff down here if you want, if you want it. Then on the side, you have two water bottle pockets on this bag. This is just one of them, right? So on the side, this is this is probably the most functional one on this side. And I have in there, I have the zero lemon. I've been <laughs> I've been asking for this for a while, and I've been wanting it for a while. This is the zero lemon tough tubes. For you guys that are on the go and you're using a lot of elect, you know, electronic stuff. I highly recommend this thing. You got wireless charging on the top. You got two USB uh, C ports in here. You got two. You got two regular USB ports in here. This thing is damn it awesome. It's a little heavy. 22.6 ounces. It takes four to five hours to charge, but once it's charged. Man, I just had, I had to wipe this thing down so I could do the video because I've had it outside with me. I'm charging my phone. I'm charging my little Trivet X Sound Go um, box, my little music box. I'm charging up everything, tablets, computers, everything with this thing. So, so great tech. And I was like, just waiting for them to come out with a new version of this. If you, you know, you can set your cell phone right on the top of it and charge it. Awesome. But we were talking about the water bottle pockets on the side. This is probably the best one in the bag. Like I said, there's two of them. But this one, you, I got my uh, Camelback chute right here. This is the 32 ounce Camelback chute. It can fit in this side pocket right here, standing up, and you can still close the lid. So that's the perfect spot for your water, water bottles. I know some people are funny about putting water next to their laptop, but that's probably the best water bottle pocket in this bag just want to show you so that is pretty much it in the main section i gotta look around and make sure i'm not missing anything but yeah that's those are all of the pockets in the in the one of two of the main sections i think the exterior you know the exterior on these coda bell bags is awesome they use ballistic nylon plus the x-pack material you got no complaints about that, right? You got your little branding right here. I think that this is the only branding on the back. These little Hyperlon loops, you can attach Coda Bell cells, some extra pouches and stuff you can attach to the outside if you want, if you wanna buy some. Personally, 
I think this bag has enough going on without adding extra pouches to the outside, but that's just me. So you got YKK Aqua Guard zippers right here. This is a little pocket on the top. This is perfect for your IDs, your wallets. It's RFID blocking. So no one can steal your information. Well, I ain't gonna say no one. They can't use a scanner to steal your information. Somebody can steal your information. Uh, little felt in here, soft touch material. Like it a lot. And you know, this is about as deep as this pocket goes. It's like as wide as this my, um, Maxpedition Micro Wallet is about as deep as that pocket goes. I like my quick access pocket on the outside to be a little bigger. So I could put my wallet, my keys, and my phone all in one pocket. This is gonna be a little small for my phone. I already know, my phone is not around here right now, but I already know. Uh, smaller YKK zip on the outside. Now we getting, let's go to the next coolest thing on the back, right? The second main storage section on the back. It's right here in the front, cross in the front. They, they call it the cross case. The, the cross case with the X in the front, yeah, cross case, all right? So same as the slings that they sell, they do an excellent job, e even though there's a lot of straps, they do an excellent job of trying to do some strap management on this back. So you got your cross in the front if you need to carry something that won't fit inside the bag. Like if you're carrying a big puffy jacket or something like that, it won't fit inside the bag, you can use these straps on the outside, yes. Great, they, they just pop off like that. I wanna get to the main section of this thing. So there's two ways to get inside of this section, this expandable section. Like this, this bag was 20 liters and it will expand out to 42 liters. So the way that you can get inside is, let me show you the quickest way, is the zippers up top right here. So you can unzip, again, YKK zips, AquaGuard zippers, and then you can get to two pockets right here. That's the quickest way. If you wanna get full access to this section, you undo the clips on the side, and then you can get to full access of the bag, right? Well, the second main section, AquaGuard zip running the whole length of this section right here. You unzip right here, and boom. Inside, you got a lot of space. You, you could pack out this thing for a weekend to travel easy. I, me, myself, I was just take some gym clothes in here. Got a shirt and a uh, sh pair of shorts. And is it a pair of shorts or is it just shorts? I have eight. <laughs> I have a, I have some shorts, not a pair of shorts. So inside here, you same those same two pockets that I showed you in when I unzipped the top was right here. These are the same two pockets. These, this is where I store, you know, stuff that I, I need to carry, but you know, I'm not necessarily trying to get to really quickly. I got my wet wipes in here. These are some larger pockets. So I, I would say that they're probably, I don't know, six inches by seven or eight inches. So they're big pockets. So, and then you also have a key keeper. These are my office keys. Good luck trying to get into my office if somebody's trying to take a copy of those keys. But there's a nice key keeper. It's plastic though, you know, uh, you know, it's it's okay. You know, it, it does open up really cool. I would have probably preferred a metal uh, key keeper. I like metal, you know, it just seems like it lasts longer. But uh, inside here, I got my adventure medical kit with my tourniquet, with my tourniquet. <laughs> I gotta make that distinction because somebody really tried to get at me about not carrying a tourniquet. So I was like, bro, I got you, I'm gonna do it. So you got some but buttons right here on the side and then you can flip this, these pockets back and then you can get to this little bungee section. Now I don't know what you necessarily would use that for. Um, yeah, but you got, it's back here, you know, a little pocket so you can stick some stuff back here. On the outside right here, you have a water bottle. Now, Coda Bell says it's a water bottle pocket. Now, this is the second water bottle pocket right here. I don't know about that, Coda Bell. I don't know. So, <laughs> I tried my uh, 32 ounce Camelback, right? And I was like, yeah, bruh. Uh, nope, that's not gonna fit. And yeah, Costco, Kirkland's water bottle, you know will fit in there. So that's kind of your option. You can get one of those slender water bottles that will fit, but any of those big water bottles won't fit in that outside pocket. So 
Yeah, that's it. But let me take you around the rest of the bag. It's really simple to close this up. You just kind of fold it over and then clip it on the side right here. Clip it, clip it on the side. And yeah, I'm gonna take you to the bottom of the bag. So you will see these attachment points so you can lash on whatever you want on the bottom of the bag. You're carrying a jacket. You wanna hook it to the outside of the bag. If you don't wanna use the crosses in the front, you have these options as well. So that's pretty tight. But this is ballistic nylon on the back, on the bottom here. And this is the uh, X-Pack material. Let me cross this up before it gets too messy. And they're like, man, this bag has too many, it has too many straps. But, all right, so let's go to the top and talk about the grab handle. So this is your grab handle. Uh, one side is on some magnetic clips right here and you can take it off and then the other side is attached don't know about that don't know why they did it so that you can't take off both because like when you have it in backpack mode and we're going to talk about the different modes like this is one mode so having it just in regular briefcase mode that's that's a mode now that's another thing the handle I wish it was attached to these straps because once you take it off, like you have to take it off to get into this main section, this pad is not connected to anything. You know, this pad is not connected to the strap itself. So yeah, you could definitely be losing this pad and I don't wanna lose anything off my bag, you know, as soon as I get it, <laughs> so. Yeah, I was I was kind of concerned that they didn't put anything, you know, any type of attachment. But I was gonna show, so that's one mode. Then the other mode is backpack mode, right? So you got your two backpack straps. I think that they're ergonomically cut. They're, they're, they're very nice. Nice little venting on the back. Not mad at them all. You got some, you know, you got your sternum strap. Depending on what kind of load you're carrying, I mean, you do can expand this bag out to 42 liters, so. You may need that sternum strap. I would probably leave it on. And then you do have a hip belt down at the bottom. So like I said, 42 liters. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna need it or not, but you can always, with, with Coda Bell straps and stuff, you can always take them off. This one has like a nice little connection point here. You could just take it off. Now this is not load bearing. This is, you know, stop you from sh shifting the weight on your back or the bags shifting the weight around on your back. This is not gonna transfer any weight to the to your hips at all, but that's kind of what it is. Now, in the back here, you do have two, you know, cushions back here. They're raised up somewhat. They feel really good. I actually like the feeling on these. I've carried the bag for a couple of days now. Yeah, I had no complaints about wearing it in backpack mode in the middle. You do have a luggage pass through if you need to, you know, Put it on your carry-on to carry it. Now, if you want to take it off and you, you want to take the shoulder straps and get them out of your way, uh, you all you do is unclip, unclip, unclip here, and then you take the shoulder straps. This is the grab handle up here. Little small kind of grab handle. Little small. I mean, it is about a one-inch piece of nylon webbing there. Fold it over. Mm. Mm, wishing for more right there a little bit, Coda Bell. Uh, so you slide the shoulder straps down in this section and then it just kind of get out of your way. And that takes you to your briefcase mode and then your messenger mode, uh, just a little bit more cleanly. You shove them down in, in there. Gotta work at it a little bit. But yeah, you shove them straight down in this little pocket. There's a little pocket back here. It's a little work to get it in, but if you want to carry it like that, so there you go. And then you can button it closed. So this takes you, we already talked about the grab handle. There's another pocket right here. So on the outside, now this pocket, goes all the way down. I mean, what could you slide in there? I mean, a document, a tablet possibly, a lot of different things. Maybe even a smaller second laptop if you wanted to in that pocket. So that will take you to your briefcase mode. Now, 
door. Show me the messenger messenger mode. So now you pull the strap out of the side here and run it, run it down. And you have a fit lock on this end. And you got a fit lock connection on this end. Pull it out here. And you just connect it. Now you've got your, your, your messenger style mode right here. This is your pad. It's a wide pad. It's padded up really well. You got some rubberized material here, so it's gonna stick to your shoulder. You even got some extra lashing points. Like throughout the bag, there's extra lashing points. Like I said, Coda Bell sells some extra pouches, but you could take this off, but pretty much it stays attached. You do have another water bottle pocket on the side right here. So where that fit lock is, the connection, you could unzip this and you could slide your water bottle. It does slide in, the 32 ounce will slide in. It is in there, you know, you definitely can carry it like that in the briefcase mode. It's definitely in there, it's not going anywhere. But yeah, man, um, there's some extra like loops and, and hooks. I didn't go through every one of the loops and hooks on this bag because it's a lot. I just wanted to kind of show you like everything that I've been using because I think that this bag is so versatile. It could be, you know, a lot of different uses. Now we're down here at the end of the video. I kind of gone through all of the pockets and yeah, we got to talk about the price. The price is 329. Ooh wee, that's expensive. But listen, <laughs> this bag dropped and it's sold out in days. I mean, it's already sold out. Like I'm gonna drop this video anyway, but it's still sold out. It's an excellent bag. You gotta kinda know Coda Bell, you've been used to them, you know, or you just wanna try something, you wanna try something new. This is definitely an experience. You have to, if you like this kind of design, it's an experience and, and you, this bag is gonna kind of teach you, hey, put, pack me out this way. This is the way I like it. <laughs> you know, like it's gonna tell you what it likes and what it doesn't like. But overall, from my experience with the bag, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the bag. And I didn't have that feeling where I was like, I put something in a pocket and I couldn't remember like, oh, I don't remember where I put stuff. I don't know, I, I just don't, I never had that experience. Like once I pack out a bag, I know where everything is. You know, especially if I'm using it every day. I think that this is an excellent bag. 329 is a little high, but you know, what other bag is doing? What is this, this bag is doing? This is an awesome bag for what it is. The three-way style, if that's what you're into. Dope, all black, yes. Coda Bell came up with the challenge. They was like, what, George? We got a backpack? Get out of our way. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, you know? If you loved it, subscribe to the channel because it's totally damn free. <laughs> and uh, if you got a question, leave it down in the comments because I definitely am down there. Holla at your boy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.